Right, hopefully I'm the right way now. That looks better. All right, now hopefully everyone can find me again. Happy Monday, everybody. It is Vicky, your independent stamping up demonstrator from Brisbane. Hope you all had a great weekend. Chrissy and I had our Christmas charity retreat on the weekend and Chrissy just put a post up. Hi, Rebecca. Uh, we ended up, yes, back again, Glenda. We ended up raising $816 on Saturday. So that was amazing. Thank you to everyone who supported and bought raffle tickets and lucky envelopes and who attended the event and everything. So it was amazing. Um, and there was a couple of people that's attended um, all of our events. And um, there was one that said it was the best that she's been to. So whilst we're waiting, I'm just gonna clean off this. You did win a raffle. <laughs> Um, this sticky stuff, which is the hot glue from last week's, um, Facebook live on my glass mat. Cause I haven't had a chance to clean this. It was awesome. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun at the wedding, Lisa, but you were missed and so was Jasmine. So hopefully when we come up with the next date that you can lock it in before anybody else plans any other events. We've got to work with the church as to when they're uh, available though. So congrats on getting the trip, Beck. That's a pretty amazing effort. Okay, so tonight I had spent a bit of time on Pinterest and I was deciding that I was going to make all these fancy boxes and blah, blah, blah. And then I walked into my craft room and remembered that I need to make the graduation cards. So it goes out. We did have fun, Beck. It was great. Um, so I've not planned anything. All I've got are my... Um, sketches over here of the designs that I'm going to do. I need to make 70 of them. Obviously, we're not going to get through 70 tonight, but if I can make a couple of each, that would be good. Um, and I got some happy mail in the post this week from the lovely Megan. But how nice is this card? I, and I only just bought this embossing folder. And I don't have this set either, but these are so pretty. These are from the Spotlight on Nature. So they're nice. So that was a lovely surprise. Thank you, Megan. So tonight, and I don't have, I need a tissue or something to now dry that. I'll just use my pajama top because I'm already in my jammies. Because it's so cold here tonight. Um, I don't have the big, see, it's not harmful at all. <laughs> I don't have the um, big numbers um, that are in the catalogue. So this is a retired set, but this is what I'm using because I need to have 2024 on the cards. So let's get started. The school colours are red and blue, and I've got white, and then I have a couple of packs of DSP. I couldn't find any DSP that had red in them. Yes, Beck, but it probably is freezing down there. 
um, here, like it gets under 20 degrees and we're like, oh, it's so cold, it's freezing. But tonight it's supposed to drop to 11 and it got really cold. So we had to shut up all the house and I'm like, I'm getting in my jammies already. So I had, um, I went through my stash of paper and got anything with blue in it. We don't really have any DSP packs that have got red. So anytime I use a DSP um, pack, it'll be for some blue cards. And let's get cutting. I don't know whether I've got enough white. <laughs> Minus 20. It probably is in, Mel in Melbourne. But I have got two full packs of red and... So we're using real red and Knight of Navy. Whoops. I'll just split that bit of cardstock. And I need my sketches over here so I can see what I'm doing. Thanks for sharing, Kerry. Kerry, did you check whether you've got your um, gingerbread house stamp? I've tried to message everybody. Um, somebody at the retreat left a their gingerbread house stamp at the embossing station. And we're trying to find, find its home. I've not heard from you, um, Evelyn or Denise. So I'm waiting for messages back just to confirm. Otherwise, I don't know who it belongs to. But let's start with the going. Now, I don't know that we'll have card bases um, done. Some of these might be... Uh, some of them I might do as card bases, actually. I need 70. That'll give me... This only gives me two, four, if I do actually a red card base. Six, eight, ten. I'm trying to make ten of each card. So card bases, if we score first and then chop it is a huge task Beck I don't I'm pretty good at making bulk cards I don't know that I'll be making 70 in this video but you know I need to use my time efficiently and so if I can get some of them done that would be great I need to make 70 for the school we have got I think there's 66 um, graduating but I want to make 70 just in case somebody's stuffed up or it's easier to do it in things of 10. So, and then I'll have a couple that I could give myself. Hi, Sue. So, let's just... So, when we're making bulk, I could make the same card, but that would be a bit bit boring when there's 70 of them to make so what I've chosen I've got seven different designs and I am going to do 10 of each so we'll see how far we get tonight but there is 10 um, red card bases and now we need blue layers hi Mackie I can't believe you're doing it live so nice to see you get over this oh you look that'd be lovely Megan um, I'm trying to do them because like we're on bloody school holidays again and then we go back and there's only like eight weeks of term and school's finished and i'm like if i don't get my act together these kids are going to graduate because they finish before hunter does and they're not going to have any 12 oh 
watching me on my lunch on your lunch break. Lovely. No, I haven't got any time because what I'm working on is about to launch on the 30th of September. So I wasn't able to get any time off, which is unfortunate because usually I swear the holidays get like they're earlier than what they normally are. Because I swear next week is when they usually start, not this week. Oh, thanks, Christina. Okay, that is my 10 layers for that one card. So I'm going to try and cut, cut what I need and then make one or two cards fully. We'll see. We'll see how we go. Now, with the white, you can cut two white together. Yeah, they usually finish the long weekend. That's right. But we go back and then have this stupid long weekend. So, anyway. Work at the table. But you better give Buddy a talking to <laughs> Uh, he's in trouble because the other night he um, just decided. Now, he has been toilet trained since, like, it only took a couple of weeks and he was toilet trained. And the um, the other night, now we've had him for two years, he um, just did a wee underneath the dining room table. Was looking at us when he did it. And I'm like, what? Is and it wasn't even raining outside, the lazy shit. Okay, so that is 8, 16. And because we've got a red card, we'll have to make a white insert as well. So the idea is that it's a terrible twos, minus six and three, and still do it. Yeah. The idea that is that the um, the PNC will write in these cards for the kids. So I think our next meeting will be writing messages to the kids. So that's the concept behind this. Hence another reason why I need to have them done a bit early. But I think there's a six, well, there's probably eight of us. So what's that? 16, 20. Um, there's eight, eight of us, I think, on the committee. So that means we kind of only have to write in like less than 10 cards each, which is good. So how was everyone else's weekend? All right, and I forgot to talk about this. There was some confusion at my at the retreat over the weekend with Chrissy and I um, about this. So I just want to clarify: it is not building an advent calendar; it is opening an advent calendar. So I make the advent calendar and you will open it. So it's an advent calendar for you to open every day and each day you will open a card kit to make using the supplies that come with the advent calendar. And so I couldn't accept deposits before the 4th of September, but I can accept the deposits right up until all through September and then have it fully paid for the 130 by the end of September so that then I've got October to make all the card kits and send them out ready for 1st of November. But in that, you get a Christmas sentiment stamp set, you get adhesive, designer series paper pack, you get twine and 24 card kits. So just so that there's no confusion there. All right. So we'll pop this to the side. And what we want to do, let's make four. 
Now, or maybe let's make two because I think this is a photopolymer stamp set. Oh no, red rubber. Look. Ah. Um, the 2024 will be um, photopolymer though. So. I do like um, that Americans graduate before we do because then they show a lot of examples. My daughter six had her first soccer match, played two times, one nine, two, and lost one nine. She was very sad she didn't score. So I had to explain all about the enjoying and playing together. Oh, I put new shelving up in my craft room on the weekend for my retired sets. You know, the keepers. Oh, I have them in a drawer, Beck, and because they're away in a drawer, I don't see them, so I don't use them. Shelving sounds so much better. Soccer sounds like fun, Mackie. I need to see it, which is why when I redid my craft room here, I have I don't I didn't put any doors on my cupboards underneath my desk, um, so that I could see it. Have I seen Beck's craft room? It's bigger than your house. No, I've not seen. Do you have a video on Facey or YouTube, Beck? I'll have to have a look. Okay, so what I want to do here is this design is having this little scroll thing stamped down there. Class of stamped there. And then we need here 2024. Now, these numbers are quite small, but I don't have big numbers and we've got to work with what we've got. So, this is a retired set. But we've got to... So, two... Where's the zero? There's the four. Whoops. Where's the zero? Oh, there it is there. Two, zero. That's my area at the back of the house where I hold my retreats. My craft room is just, a, is just in a two-car garage. <laughs> just. <laughs> Mine is just in a bedroom, Beck. So a two-car garage is bigger. Our two-car garage, before we bought this house, got turned into two bedrooms and a rompus room. And so I've turned that bedroom into a craft room. And work office and my husband's turned the other room into his office so I have half a two-car garage okay so I think I'm going to do that with the 2024 and that's that I use my DVD shelves from Ikea I have five of them next to each other that's a good idea I'm gonna need so many more blocks with this I've got shelving up like to the right of me and that is good um, but it's only really enough. Well, one side is enough for um, my current stamps and the other side I've just got other stuff like some sprays and, you know, when I do 3D projects and stuff like that. If I found a new spot for that, I could put my retired in the other shelf because it would fit nicely. I know. I've got three blocks out. Julie would be so impressed. So I need my memento. 
I'm chatting so much, we're not going to get very much done. So... Where is Jules tonight? Now, do we think class of mm, I don't want to have too many inks open because I've already got a goober on this one. God damn it. And that one. We'll have to turn them over already. I must have it on my fingers. Class of, and then do the red. I could probably make it easier on myself and just do class of 24 and not have to go back and stamp the second two. But we're not gonna do that. We'll stamp that later because I want to stamp all those together like that. All right. So the trick when you are doing mass production like this is to kind of all do the one step at a time. so that you're not cleaning blocks, stuffing around, wasting time. I could have added my stamp set to your parcel. If I had have remembered I was doing this, I probably would have asked because it would make things a lot easier. That's all right, Mackie. Thanks for stopping by. I met Mackie in Vegas last year. She's lovely. Okay, so there's four. We're going to go back and do those twos after I've done everything else. So the idea of this card, oh, we need four inserts. One, two, three, four. And... I need another block. Where is Jules tonight? She would be so proud of me. So proud. We are stamping um, all this hard work uh, was worth it. We're just going to stamp that in black. That is going on the inside. So you'll be impressed, ladies. No naked cards. I might have to ring my black. Well, now I'm going to have a big goober on there. Do I need to move up? All right. Do we think that's enough or do we think we want to stamp the hat? I didn't have the hat on my thing, but I don't deal with blank space very well. Do we think we want to stamp whatever the hat's called? This big hat. There's a big one or there's a little one. So the big one would go there. That might be a bit big. Hi, Anita. 
Do we want the little, that might then look a little bit little. Maybe we just leave it blank. You tell me what you ladies think. But the idea is, while you're thinking about that, is that we get a bone folder. And we'll make four. And hopefully we won't get any stamp both sizes it so it looks like it's going up in the air. Stamp both sides. Oh. That's a bit tricky, Beck. Okay. So pop that over there and how much seal have we got? We should be right for this video. The seal runs better when you put it on this um, pierce mat. Oh, I've cut these at a big border size, which looks a bit odd, but that's okay. doesn't matter. So when we fix up the two on there, that's the card, unless we do. I don't know about the hat. I'm scared. Yes, the red and the blue are the school colours. They've got a light blue too, but I couldn't work out and Hunter didn't know and I didn't Google enough because when they get into senior, the boys have a light blue shirt, but yeah, I'm wondering if I stamp the big cap and cut it out and then so there's something popped up on there. It might be a bit better. Um... But I couldn't work out whether the girls had a light blue shirt or not, or whether it was white. So I just went with the sports colours because they all have sport. Anyway, the red and blue. I'm not coming to Fussy Cat. Why not, Megan? But you offered to help. No, the dark looks the no, the dark looks more formal. Yeah, so because I was Googling on Pinterest and then lost track of time because I had every intention of doing some fancy looking boxes or something like that because I wanted something a bit different for cards and then I'm like, oh, I need to do these actually. So I'm killing two birds with one stone and being very proactive because I'm not sure when I'm going to get time to do these otherwise. So there's four done without the second two. Or you could have done treat boxes that look like a prayer book. Could. I thought cards were better. We could write a message in them. But treat book... That'd, I think cards are easier than doing treat boxes. Unless I did pre-bought treat boxes, but that might get a bit costly. Okay, so there's four of that design. Let's... Put these away. Did I? Oh, because they're all for that card. And we'll pop them over to the side over there. We'll have to bring them back later. Okay, let's close these ink pads up before we wear it. And 
You know, the new ones in the cat. Yes. But when you've got to do 66 of them, Megan, that would get a little bit expensive. Okay, so there's the first one done. Now, the second one is this DSP, which will be on a white card. I don't have enough card bases cut. That could be Megan's job when she comes. But we're going to do the blue layer. It's a Christian school, <laughs> not Catholic, but yes. <laughs> so we're going to do a blue layer. And we need 10 of these again. Might need to change my blade after cutting all this. That's four. I'm sure I cut half a sheet before. I probably just misplaced it. Nine. Ten. This is what happens when you use your take your pick tool to open your cardstock. Don't do that because you'll leave a big goober on it. Okay. Now we need white layers. And I do one eighth inch borders. So these are all one eighth inch smaller than the last layer. And sometimes all these strips that I cut off there, I keep and other times I don't because I have 10,000 strips. And there's only so much you can do with them. So, you know what? I've got to the point where I don't keep everything. I don't have time to use all the paper that I do, like full sheets of paper, let alone all the bloody off cuts. It's like so many people go, oh, I really like this one sheet wonder and I can get 12 cards out of this one piece of DSP or I can get 24 cards out of this one piece of DSP. I'm like, I, don't, I have got 10,000 sheets of DSP. I do not need more cost effective ways of using the bloody thing. I need to use it up. So, um, because if I got 24 cards out of one sheet of DSP, I'd never use the thing, ever. I don't know who else would be the same, but I'm sure most of us are the same. Now, I'm going to use this because I hate this green piece. And we're going to use this because I've got, do I have another sheet of this? If not, we can use another sheet of DSP because, again, we've got 10,000 pieces. Nope, oh, we don't have another piece of that. But here's another piece I prepared earlier, which has got petal pink on the back, and I hate petal pink as well. So, I think we're going to do, how big is that strip? I think we're just going to do a two and a half inch strip. That'll get us two, two and a half inch strip. 
If I use a sheet of DSP, I don't think it will last forever. <laughs> I know, right? Two, four, six, eight. I think we might get ten out of that anyway. We might not need that other piece. Damn it. One, two, three, four. Oh, we will. Oh, maybe. I will just cut this piece. Just because I wanted to. So these strips are then going to be uh, four, no, five. Hi, Renee. And again, I'm not keeping this piece. You can go in my scrap. I have got more than enough scraps to use. When I very, very first started crafting, when I first started my blog, uh, which I don't have anymore, but when I first started it, I wanted to be like the frugal crafter and I'd keep everything and gonna reuse it. Oh, seriously, that didn't last very long because I just create more scraps than I can use. So for years I donated them to the daycare and kindy and I still send a bag to prep every now and then, but still, more than I ever can use in a lifetime. So that goes on there. Now we need some more, so that is going to go on there, that goes on there like that, that's going to go across there. And then we need a square piece. And you could sit there and die cut, but seeing as I've got 70 of these to make, I'm not die cutting. I am cutting squares. So let's do, I want on the square, I want that and the hands. Where's the stamp set? And this is, are these hands one? Oh, you can make the hands as wide as you want. That's gonna, oh, I'm gonna need another block. Where is Julie? I need to do them the right way. Is that right? Even if I stamp them together, one hand looks bigger than the other. I don't know whether that's right. Okay, so that's, the square, the white square that we're stamping on needs to be at least three inches to fit that in there. So then if we do the white three by three and this will be three and an eighth by three and an eighth. That's how I work that out. If anybody's interested, that piece is now useless. Yeah, the 24 by 24, 2024 was, it's the same width as that. It'll fit on there. It'll fit. Don't stress me out, Megan. It'll fit. Three and an eighth. So then that will fit on there. That's good. That's a good size. I might actually use that a bit later because I want to um, cut some sentiment strips that might fit that. So I'll just leave that scrap piece over there. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, um, and then we need another piece. 
nine, ten. Okay, so then there's those pieces. And now we need the white pieces which will be three by three. 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 And I'll leave those for the other sentiment pieces. Four, six, eight, ten. Oh, don't throw them in the scrap. And So there are our pieces cut for the next card that we're doing and we need to be stamping on this one two three four we'll make four cards again good thing we're using squares so that we don't have to worry about that now we need to stamp this in blue this time because there's no red on this card Uh, we need to do the hands. Uh, we'll do the hands in black, I think. Nope. Okay, so the hands are done. Um, class of. In the Navy. And then. And I'll go back and stamp the two later. Because I don't want to change the spacing of these. Put that on, close this. And so this one won't have um, card bases because I don't think I've got enough card bases cut. Oh, I don't want to lose any of those cut pieces. So, one, two, three, one, two. We'll make one with the other paper so you can see the difference. One, two, three, and one, two, three. And we can pop those ones over there. My seal. Do, 
Let's pop. So I've got everything cut for two of the seven designs that I'm doing and making four of, so I've then after this would have made eight of the designs. So at the start, anyway. But I might get another card designed and cut before I finish up. And then I'll have to find some bling to put on all these because you all know that I can't not have bling. And then they should be dry enough now. I'll probably go back and colour those hands maybe, I don't know, when I've got to do so many of them. Maybe not. This is another reason why I work with squares so you don't have to worry about which way the um, thing goes because they're squares and not rectangles. Now the idea is to then pop this up and stick that there but I don't want to pop it up because I haven't stamped that other two yet and I want to make sure I've got a flat surface when I stamp two. So they can all go on there. So there's another four done. Now, da, 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 da. oh, this was the one I was going to do. I want to stamp my own DSP. Probably need some grid paper though. grid paper you could stamp on here but because I'm making so many other cards I don't want to transfer so I'll just move the grid paper and be done with it but I'm going to randomly stamp so we're gonna to have to Put that over there. Oh. That one. And then where's the hat? I got that out before. This one. So when you're randomly stamping, you wanna make sure that you stamp off the page as well to make sure that it is looks random and not um, forced. And then I'm gonna put congratulations graduate as some words. I should get my stamp and scrub out.
Now, when you're stamping words, you definitely want to make sure that you twist and turn so that it doesn't matter what way your DSP gets cut to then put onto the um, card. Because if they're all stamped the right way, then you're going to have an issue trying to fit things on here. Um... I feel like I want some more stuff on here because I'm only cutting little pieces, so I want more things. But maybe I'll do the smaller hat. fill in some of the blanks. That's better. I'm glad I don't have a um, camera on my face because I've just realised the whole time I'm stamping this I've got my tongue poking out. Because it's obviously making sure it stamps right. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done, done, done. And I really probably need my stamp and scrub because I've just used so many stamps. And I don't have enough blocks out. some cleaned right so let's get rid of this and now we are going to be doing a white card <laughs> no a red layer so, while that DSP is drying that we've just created, we will then cut the layers. that I've got by the time I do this that means I've got 30 of the cards cut and ready and I would have made 12 so that's a good start because I'm seeing lots of Christmas stuff at the moment but I'm like I don't want to make too many Christmas cards because it's only September I got really annoyed the other day when it was the 30th of October, uh, 30th of August and Big W had bloody Christmas trees out. I'm like, what? It is not even September and they've got Christmas trees out. And I think sometimes when you start making them so early, then you run out of things. There's 
So then this is going to be cut into strips on there, but I'm thinking because we need this to then fit there, class of, and then the 2024 can go down this way. So we won't be stamping the 2024 this time because I have to change the spacing on it. Which means that is what two inches. So if I do that two and a quarter, two and a quarter, what does that leave me? Two and a quarter, and then I've got one and a half. Yep, so if I do this strip as one and a half inches, and that is, do you like how I just talk to myself? One and a half. That will fit on there like that. And then the DSP will go on there. So we need 10 of these at one and a half, it's three, four, five, I'm hoping sometimes when I talk to myself, Beck, that people will kind of think or understand how the um, thought process happens and realise, oh, that's kind of how you do it. Because often people go, how do you come up with that? I'm like, I don't know. I just wing it. I just do it. I look at something and I'm like, hmm, let's do that. Okay, so then this is going to be... Now, once these are all cut, I might want to go back and stamp some more images on them. If I feel they're a bit plain, like that one. size and I like that so we'll make this one so I don't have to stamp that again so I like that one some of these are very plain and boring aren't they Definitely, I'll make one with this one and then I'll have to go back and re-stamp some of that DSP now that it's cut, but you get the gist of it. Because we're getting to 9pm. But we got one good piece out of that. And now we need to clean this because we're not using that in 
a blue this time. We're using it in red. And clean the numbers. Or I'll stamp the numbers later actually because I don't want to stamp them. Because they're going down. Down, 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 down. of and then the numbers will go in red we can close that because we're only making one of these cards until we finish stamping And I'm just going to stick this on flat, not any dimensionals. And then 2024 can go there. So that is another design done. And I'll bring these four cards back that we did of this design and then these four cards that we did of this design so we made nine cards in the hour but cut for 30 so I'll continue making these uh, over the next couple of days and hopefully the 70 will be done before the year 12s graduate but thank you everyone for joining i hope you enjoyed the content and if you're watching this on youtube can you please leave a comment or subscribe to my channel i'm trying to build my youtube channel so that would be amazing um and if not i'll see you next week thanks everyone bye